What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to talk about the displacement vector or unit displacement vector and volume element vector in cylindrical coordinate system. Well, let's have a brief review or brief recap of the coordinate system. Cylindrical coordinate system has coordinates S, V, and Z. And they are identified as follows. Z is the same as your Z component for your Cartesian coordinate system. It has a range from negative infinity to infinity along the Z axis. S is the projection of this position vector on the XY, uh, XY plane. Or in other words, that's the perpendicular distance from the Z axis to your point. And the range would be from 0 to infinity. The direction of S hat is this, uh, pointing away from the Z axis, and then Z hat is pointing along the positive Z axis. The angular component phi is uh, the azimuthal angle similar to your uh, spherical coordinate system. Okay, and the direction of phi hat is in this direction. Now, if we're going to talk about a uh, uh, line element, it has three directions or three components. It has a component along the S direction. Let's call this the LS. And how are we going to illustrate that? So, for example, if this is your Z axis and this is your point, and then this is your S component, the length along the direction of S would be along this direction. So this would be our DLS, which is equal to DS because this is just a linear length. Now, the angular length, DP, okay, uh, is best illustrated when we're talking about, let's say, X, Y, and then Z. So if this is your P, this would be your S. Now, if this move in this direction, this would still be S. This arc length is your DLP. Now, this infinitesimal angular displacement is your DP. So, this is just your simple arc length S, D, and, of course, lastly, Z hat, that's the displacement along the Z direction, which is the same as your DZ. So, therefore, the line element DL in vector is DS S hat plus S D phi P hat plus DZ Z hat. And the volume element D tau is just given by DLS, DLP, DLZ, which is S, DS, DP, DZ. And if we're going to use the following range of values for S, say from 0 to R, and then phi is from 0 to 2 pi, and then Z is from 0 to H. So we're doing, we're getting the volume of a circular cylinder. This will yield the total volume of pi r squared times h, which is what we expect and what we've learned in your geometry classes. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to talk about the vector uh, derivatives in cylindrical coordinate system okay so thank you for watching bye bye